Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your old Sprank the Tank, and today I bring a floodlight. So you just don't get one, you get two. Two great floodlights, and we're going to talk a little bit about them because I'm sick about this product. I actually have it in place, and it's been working very well. I've been testing it out, and I like it. So it has 60 LED lights built inside. It has up to 1,200 lumens. Um, it could reach up to 1,000 feet of sensor 180 degree it has a motion sensor of 180 degree uh, everything's built in there well secure well waterproof and, and very very sealed real really good now it does have an on and off button it's a little tiny button right here located on this location here it's a little hard to see but it's in there and they give you a little sticker here that says hey don't forget to turn it on. Once you place it up there, remember to turn it on, all right? This is important. This should last you a couple of years before you have to replace the battery, and then you have to probably turn this up. Oh, you're going to have to buy another one. By then, they should be better, bigger, better products. So um, this is an awesome thing because on the old versions, you had to actually set up a solar panel on it. Now, they changed that. They're completely coming in into one. And then we're going to compare with a different floodlight. And this is a lot brighter. I like it. And motion sensor was a plus. So the motion sensor kicks in after pretty much when it's down to 30%. It starts saving more of the power itself. So that's when it starts kicking in. And believe me, any movement, any car or anything in front of your yard, it's going to pick up. This is perfect for like if somebody's trying to break in or something and the light's going to hit them. At least, you know, it's some sort of deterrence. It's not the greatest, but if you put multiple of these locations in the area that it's pretty dark, it might suit you guys and it might help you guys. So, I mean, this is a good product. I set one up. I set a couple of them up, to be honest with you. And so far, I have nothing but great reviews on them. So we're going to compare it with a smaller unit, and we're going to talk about what you what's included in here. So when you buy this, you get two of them, all right? They give you these little hooks here. here. Now, this is very – they're super easy to set up. I mean, um, you could do four screws or one large screw right here where it just tucks in like a, pretty much like a frame, like a picture frame, all right? It's very simple. So when you're pacing it up, this needs to be face up, all right? This needs to be facing up. So on back of it in here, if you guys can notice, it just slides in like this. Pretty much that's what it does. And there's two screws that you do need to set them up in the back here. Right here. If you guys can see the two little screws, there's 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 two screws that you do set it up in the back, right? That is to keep it even locking in place. Very simple, easy to set up those two screws. Um, this base is is you know, it's all plastic. It's a little heavy duty. It's probably like a pound and a half or two pounds, maybe. Um, a pound and a half, I would say, you know. Um, so this is not bad. It's all in one. You don't need an extra version, an extra panel, like I said. Now, they give you the, the device. They give you two of these, two of the devices. They give you all the screws you need. On top of that, they give you dry mount screws, all right? Now, I decided to use my own screws. You don't have to use the screws that come in here because they're a little tougher and, and rougher. Like these screws are a little too light, you know, a little light, especially in a high wind. Um, I don't want to break, so I want to make sure that, you know, I'm going to set up some heavy duty screws for this, this mount and make sure they fit in here too. So I want to make sure that they were grabbing on. But before that, you got to make sure you do a preset hole and you got to mark them down. Make sure you do that. So we're going to do a little demo of how I install mine and we're going to talk about it a little bit more. But if you guys like this kind of products, let me know. These are awesome little products. So let's go ahead and compare it with a different floodlight that I purchased before. Now we're going to compare it with a smaller version. Look at the size of this one. This is a different version. I had a different floodlight. Now look at the size of this. This is a gigantic mob. And not only that. It has built-in like curve, um, so it could actually reflect more lights inside with the actual glass in there. So you're gonna get more reflection and more lighting in uh, certain areas, of course. Now these floodlights itself, they're very small. Um, they don't last as long as this one. And they don't have a larger panel as this one, if you notice. Look at the panel that compared to that one. Um, this one absorbs more, more sunlight in the day. And it's going to last you um, six to eight hours throughout the day. And even longer with the power saving. Now, these don't save any power. And they do have a sensor in the front. And the sensor on these, what I noticed, that it gets damaged with the sun. Uh, throughout the time, it starts fading out. And movements are like less likely to pick up on this. Now, this one, the sensor is built in the glass itself. So you're not going to be able to see it. And this pretty much doesn't hit the sun. It's going to reflect to the bottom. So that's one thing I like about it compared to these little small ones. So if you're in the market of looking for something similar to this, maybe I would suggest, you know, these are a lot larger. 
they cover more of the area, but they're a lot better because a lot of internal stuff. And of course, like I said, the solar plate itself is a lot bigger than most of these little floodlights. So good, good idea to, to look a place and make sure that you got plenty of sunlight where you're going to set these up. Because if you block them, it's kind of going to be a useless device if you're going to put it somewhere where it's not going to collect enough sun. Now, if you live in a region that you get a, a couple of clouds here and there or rains, it's still worth charging but you might not get the full hours that you require, right? So just make sure that you got plenty of sun in the location. And like I said, turning these on, like I mentioned, turning these on is easy. So you're gonna click on it, it's gonna blink a couple times and it's all set up. And then it turns off itself when it knows that there's lightning. Like right now we do have light, but if I place it down because the sensor is built underneath, it's gonna turn on. So the sensor is up here, if you guys can notice. The floodlight sensor it's covering here you can't even see it from here from this direction but if you cover it it knows that it's off it, it covered i covered it and it turns on automatically so right now you're not going to see the full effect of it because i do have a light in this studio right here so i like this product so we're going to go ahead and set it up and let me know what you guys think all right we're going to use a piece of wood right now so i can show you guys exactly what needs to be done so pre-install you have to get this first um, you know, it's very simple. So I'm gonna put my camera down so you guys can see a little bit more. It's gonna be facing up because um, make sure these two screws holes are visible. All right, so we're gonna do this here. I'm gonna line it up how you want. You could level it right now for demo purposes. I'm doing this for demo purposes. All right, guys. You can level it if you can. Mark your circles. Mark your holes. And there's different holes you can do. All right, so we just did a couple of them right and we're gonna mark them and then pre make a hole because if you don't you're gonna crack the the actual wood anywhere you go now if you're doing the drywall do use the drywall screws all right but because we're doing on the outside I'm gonna mount this and then screw the bottom part of this uh, we're gonna do a pre holes here I'm just running it one more time making sure they're all fit and we're good all right, we're just gonna mount four of them because we're not gonna actually, we're gonna run four. Do this. Now, where you're gonna put it up there, when you're gonna set it up, there's an on button right here that you need to turn it on in order to hook it up. So right now we're just gonna see, see how the back end right now is. We're just gonna, and then in the bottom of it, you guys can see the two screws holes that we have in here. Line it up, screw it in, and that's it. So we line it up, we screw it in, and that's how you mount it all right very simple steps to mounting it if you can notice there's a little gap in here that's fine that's the part of the gap you take your plastic off you turn it on and at night and then we'll test it out again so it lined it up here so it could be perfect Hang it from the bottom, we're gonna screw it here. Hang it there. Light little tiny screws, and it's gonna get the sun. We'll put the little tiny screws here, if you guys can see them. Those go underneath. Here are these two. Right, piece of resistance, we got it going. We're gonna take this off all around. Now we're gonna push the button on this side right here. We're gonna push the button, which is can't, can't even see it. We're gonna 
turn it on and it's on so it's ready to go motion sensor motion sensor at night tonight so let's take a look look at the light guys it's super bright out here um it's shining all this in here and i am able to see all that um so anybody that walks into the door automatically turns on so in case you you're at night trying to open up with your keys look at this perfect perfect light not not as super bright as you want it but it's just perfect enough to to light this whole place up here you know perfect enough to light this whole place up so anybody comes in the front door you can see them perfectly when the light hits in there that's the brightness of it right now so far so we're gonna stand in front of it so you guys can see it and I'm right right underneath of it right now and right now I'm getting at 54 lumens right here where I'm standing get it closer you get like 3,000 of course I'm not gonna get too close but uh, it depends you know it's bright enough here it's getting all the light around here it's working I'm trying not to cover the sensor too much but um, we're getting we're right underneath of it all right and this is how bright it gets so if you guys can see it not that bad so if you guys have any questions or any comments let me know I'm your host Frank the Tank and we're out